Well, um, so this is going to be tutorial 6.5 and it has taken me a long time to actually figure out where I was going wrong here. Um, first, this um, R wanted us to rebuild it. It was no longer, it couldn't be found anymore. Um, hang on, if we just get rid of this at all. Yeah, um, cannot resolve symbol and all that. Um, couldn't resolve what R was. So that was dealt with in time that took way too long. Um, and as you might remember, I actually added an extra layout here, but I've actually gotten rid of it because it's just not worth it. Um, but just remember, when you're creating a layout for a different view, make sure it has the exact same name. So this one will be the default one, which I, in most cases would be a portrait view. And when this one is not functional, it'll transform over to, oh, when it's in the landscape, when it's not in the portrait view, it'll transfer over to the landscape view. Assuming it's in the landscape view, it'll detect this stuff. Um, now, we've got, uh, again, I had to rebuild this whole thing because I couldn't find where I went wrong and I wound up just forgetting to save my code and just everything went to downhill from there. So I've got a new thing, it's just a random big button and it's a hello world. Now, over here, we've got the landscape view. Now, take a look at that, that doesn't look good, but if we flip it up, it's just the same as the other one. But when it's in the landscape view, a thing, the thing seems a bit small. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're on um, the text for Chris. Um, where's the margin top? Okay, so we'll bring the margin down to about 60. So now from the top, it's actually moved up a little bit. And now, to really just make this all on one line, we'll increase the density independent pixels from 300 to 400. And now it's just on one line because I've widened it. Now the button's a bit close in the middle. Chris, oh, hello world, I'm Chris is just here, which is pretty, like, it looks good aside from the colours and all that, those hideous colours. Um, now, why don't we run this app? See what happens. Well, it's taking some time. Now, it says that there are four errors. Um, okay, let, let's make this clear. There's only three real errors. Um, one's here. We'll jump to the source. It's saying that the string of Chris is wrong. Um, and this one's saying the same thing, but this is in the another layout. Um, so what we do is we go to this first one. Oops, see, um, it says, we'll jump to the source. It says here that the apostrophe is not preceded by a forward slash. So when we're here, um, we've got to notice that this right here is the apostrophe that it's talking about. Um, it took me a while, but I didn't notice that before. But we've got to put a, a, a forward slash apostrophe here before it will actually run. Now we just run it. We'll see what happens. <coughs> okay. So it's installing it on the virtual device and um, we'll just see what how long it takes. Um, there we go. Now I want you to hold down control and push F12. This changes it to the landscape view. I don't know if I've told you this before. But yes, now now that we've got the secondary uh, layout for the landscape view in particular. It will always transfer to that when the screen is in a landscape view. So once we go forward, back, it doesn't really matter what happens. It's just going to be there. Now we don't, again, we don't have the buttons doing anything actually. If I remember correctly, I might actually have these buttons doing something, but they're not connected to anything. No, nope, not yet. So in the next couple of tutorials, I'll show you how to make buttons do stuff. And then I'll show you how, um, to actually bring, oh, and I'll also show you how to bring another activity into the thing, um, uh, into the app. So that's it for now. If you had any troubles with this, uh, well, with six point, uh, six, 
6.0.0 and 6.5. Uh, just let me know, I'll try to help you because this one really got me a bit pissed off and all that. Um, you might have caught it before me and also who knows, we'll just see where it goes. And just contact me if you need any help.